Hello and welcome once again to a sampling with Stu. Um, sorry guys, I'm a we're way off schedule here. Uh, I had an abundance of technical problems yesterday. I did record yesterday. I really did. I recorded some hand of fate gameplay that uh just didn't work. My my microphone for some reason did not uh pick up. So we lost that. And then uh, today, it's just been so crazy, what would lead up to Christmas, I figured we just uh, we just sample a little game I just found today. So uh, we're having the Steam sale right now, the uh, Steam Winter sale, and I picked up, a f I picked up, uh, shit, what did I pick up? I picked up Total War Warhammer, I picked up uh, a couple of other little indie games, including this one that I've, I've had in my wish list for quite some time. Now right now on Steam, it's $1.49. Um... And what it is, is just the simplest, most addictive little high score chasing game I have ever played. It, uh, it's randomly generated maps and all you do is wingsuit through them. That's the whole premise of the game. And it's, I've, I went on today, because I, I planned on just doing this today, <clears throat> Steady Hand of Fate. And uh, yeah, I got super addicted for for about an hour, so I'm like, oh fuck, I got to turn the mic on. Uh, better better start. So I've I've played about forty odd minutes of this game already, and I can't get enough. I'm super into it. Uh, it's one in just again simple, easy, and uh, great fun. So um, without further ado, uh, welcome old friends, greetings, new listeners. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. That's going to be our little thing now. Um, I'm Stuart, and this is Sampling with Stu. So let's, uh, let's away we go. Let's try this. So look, it just puts you right in the game. And then I'm trying to do is stay as close to the mountain to rack up points as possible. It's kind of like testing your nerves. See how brave you are. See how you want to do it. Whoa, oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't bad. And I, I don't have a lot of narration for this because it's pretty much the same game over and over again. I just And it's not going to be... I don't think we're going to be doing a full hour today, guys. I'm just going to show you 20, 30 minutes of this game and how wonderful and awesome it is. And then we'll be back on schedule next week. I actually have something really cool. I, like my first ever two-part episode planned for next week. So look out for that. That'll be next Wednesday, Thursday. Because we know Wednesday, Thursdays are sampling with Stu Days on the We Suck at Everything Network. How's that for advertising, Brian? He's always like, oh, you gotta be, you gotta be talking about the whole network and blah blah blah. And then stay tuned on Friday for Friday. You'll really like that. Friday is Brian's Friday. We're very clever. Whoa! Oh! Oh, nice. Oh no, not so nice. And as you can see, it's just this kind of game where you can just keep restarting. And the thing is, the maps are randomly generated, but they don't change between discs. Like, this map is set now, since I spawned into it. This map is set. I can find the best routes. I can practice, play on. And we'll try and hit a couple of different worlds today, just to see how we're... Uh, just give you a little taste of the variety here. It's not... I mean, the graphics, of course, nothing special. But the gameplay, man, is just... Oh, man, I've been thinking about it. Me and my kid, me and my five-year-old today, were just having a blast playing the shit out of this game for, like I said, for about a good 45 minutes. I'm not finding a good place to get started. I may have to... And then, so... What I figured out from the game is... You gotta find these little portals, see down here? Gotta find these little portals, so let's just move to another level, because I'm not liking this one. And they're all randomly generated, they don't escalate in difficulty or anything, they just change, see? There's a little portal. This one's kinda ugly, it's real toxic looking. Blah, why am here? It's like a fallout. Oh, 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 there we go. And it just, it's so, like, I could imagine, I could imagine just putting on, like, my favourite album, and, and just blanking out to this, just turning my brain off, relaxing for just an hour or so, just listening to my favourite favorite music, tripping out, enjoying, just enjoying flying around. There's It's so relaxing. It's weird because it's relaxing and exciting all at once. Like, it's it's nice. It's just, it's just pure gameplay bliss. And it's one of those things, like, you know when you find that one game that just kind of clicks, and you're like, oh, I get it. I get this game completely. I know what it wants from me. I know what I want from it. And you, like, it's just great to find something like that. I haven't found a game so simple and easy to play in quite some time. Uh, so, whoa. I, oh, yeah. Let's go through here. 
And they're just trying to, again, trying to rack up the highest score as possible. And it seems like it, sometimes it just forces you down, of course, because gravity and shit. But it's really annoying. You have to, whoa, I thought I was dead. Let's try and get through here now. Nice. Let's go down, see what's over here. Oh, this looks dangerous. Yep, it was. It was a stupid move. And as you can see, my high score right now is 21,244. I had a really good run in one of the maps earlier. I'm ranked 13,000th in the world. I ain't bad. Can't complain with that. And yeah, it's a cool little high score. It reminds me of, um, I don't know if anybody played Race of the Sun. It reminds me a lot of that and graphics and style and stuff. Same kind of, same kind of thing, but way, way more fun. Like, way more fun than even, and Race the Fun was, Race the Sun was really, really fun for a long time for me. But this game, I can see just putting on when I just want to shut off my brain. And I think it'll have a lot more longevity than something like Race the Sun. Because it's so, oh, I want to get through there. Where was that? Shit, I don't even remember where that was. I want to get, I want to get through that so bad. Is that it there? Let's try again. Oh. Whoa, that was good. That was a good one. And it's nice because I got about 40 minutes of practice, so I ain't super as terrible as I was the first time I played. Good God, that was, I was garbage the first few playthroughs, man. It takes a little getting used to the controls. I'm playing with a PS4 remote right now, though, which is super easy to do. Um, it doesn't support it technically, but it's almost like, I don't know if anybody played Just Cause 3. But it really reminds me, it, like a simplified wingsuit in that game. This It controls almost the same way. And I played a lot of Just Cause 3. That was a super fun game for me. So um, I'm, I'm pretty decent with, I was I got pretty decent with the wingsuit at the end there. So I think that gave me a little bit of an advantage too. Oh shit, that was dumb. That was super dumb. And it is, it's just, you know, it's like I said, I just had to record some footage because it's it's a game that just excited me. Like, I don't have any funny, funny stew comments to make about it. It's just super awesome and exactly what I want right now from a video game. I bought, um, what else did I buy today? I bought The Forest, I bought Warhammer, I bought a couple of the Warhammer DLCs because I've been wanting to play the new Warhammer game. But it seems like all my time's going into this right now. <laughs> like, I could play this, oh, I could be playing this all night, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is probably a super boring watch, um, but it's so relaxing. It really is such a relaxing little game. I'm getting through it. A real high score there. <laughs> That's why I shut my mouth. Let's get through this one. I want to go through that one too. Oh yeah, sampling with Stu, pro, pro gamer. Okay, now the problem with these kinds of things is you have to find a portal. You know, my kid, she was flying like straight downwards earlier and it was like taking her to different zones. I don't know if that takes you back zones or not. Let's find out. Let's just find out real quick. Yeah, it does. Oh, no, that's not back zones. That's okay. So you can just skip through zones like this. Oh, wow, this place is dope. Whoa. Whoa. I like this one. Oh fuck, that is so cool! I really like. I've never seen a level like this yet. It's almost kind of No Man's Sky, like everything's sort of the same, but then you get real cool, like kind of visuals every once in a while. Because like this is the first one I've seen. I've seen so wide open like this. And if you ever wanted to know, like if you've ever watched like Star Wars as religiously as I have and seen them like flying around in the Millennium Falcon and going through crevasses and dodging, making super tight dodges. I think this game is the closest you'll ever feel to controlling that. <laughs> you know, when you make some sick ass turn and pull off and go through a tiny little, tiny little uh, crack in the wall and save your ass. That's it's exhilarating. It feels really, really good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My descent is really fast. <laughs> that, would, that would be terrible in Star Wars. Oh. And it really is all about just trying to find the tightest, most awesomest stunt you can find, like, in here. See? Whoa! Damn, that was badass. It feels really good. Can I go through there? Oh, fuck me! <laughs> And see, I started this game like really afraid of dying and the ground, but it's so quick to reload in that you should, you should just try and pull off the coolest shit until until you start to rack up a decent score, and then maybe start playing a little more conservatively. I really wish they had like multiplayer split screen or something, cause it'd be so much fun.
just to play with other people in this. But as it stands, this is honestly the most surprising game I've found <laughs> this year. Uh, and it was a dollar forty nine. And you're probably like, yeah, those graphics are shit. I could totally tell this is a dollar forty nine game, but no nah, man. You get you get to feel this gameplay and how exhilarating it is just to be flying around doing your old shit. I really like this area. I'm getting oh, and another really cool thing about this game is if you find a map you absolutely adore, you can save it. And I love that feature. That's such a genius idea. Because it's all it's all based on seeds and shit, you know, like Minecraft. So it's just it just saves them, and then you can practice really cool stunts. You can make some kick ass like videos and shit. New idea just formed in my head. <laughs> whoa! Oh, that is so badass. I can't believe I've gotten. I think whoa. Ah, okay. Um, save that map. That's super awesome. We all right. Let's find. Well, we can just fly down, huh? I don't want to leave this map. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. ah, fuck! I lost eight thousand points. I think. I think that's what it said. Okay, come on, baby. Can I get through here? Whoa, whoa. Oh, we're, we got to make that. We got to make that. Was that was this the way? Yeah, there it is. We got to do that again. That is too badass of a turn not to fucking nail. Whoa, why is my guy... He was like... He wanted to taste the dirt in there for a second. Where was that again? Oh, no, this isn't it. This isn't it. Oh, fuck. Where was that? I just... Was that it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. See, I can't. He doesn't. He doesn't stay up. I can't get him to stay up for this. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> it felt just as good as I imagined it would. Can we get under here? Oh no, that closes off. Oh, I was too busy looking for that thing again. I want to do it one more time. That is so cool. I like that little area. That's such a... And like I said, it's all randomly generated. There ain't no fucking human fingers in this one. All right, we're going to fly down, see if we can get to another get to another location real quick. And change it. Oh, damn it. And every... Like, that's the thing with this game. You fly into another car and you're like, oh, I got to nail that. I want to nail that so bad. Like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes! That was amazing! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell no. God damn it. Such a... Nope, that was the wrong turn. That's not... Another thing with the random gen is there are little areas like that that just don't go anywhere, and I'm like, fuck. It's really annoying, especially if you're getting a high score. I, really... I can feel... But like there, I don't know. Like it's so easy to jump back into a game. I can't f see being irritated with it, even in like a shoddy, quick death. Oh yeah, that was cool. It's not cool if you say it's cool, right, guys? That's fucking cool. Oh hell yeah, dive! Oh fuck! Whoa, down! Whoa! See what I mean? It's like it feels like you're watching the Millennium Falcon. Pew pew pew! Oh shit, son! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was amazing. That's like the highlight right there, and that one is not the highlight. Whoa! Oh, fuck me. All right, let's go find. See, what I mean, it's just ugh, it's so restartable, and there's so many little areas just to uncover and have fun, and that's not makeable. And I've never found a game quite like this. I mean, I've found a lot of indie games that have stolen my heart and my time, but I've never found one that's quite as, I don't know, I don't like call it original, but there's just something about this one that just kind of like, is really appealing to me. I think it's the speed. I don't think, you know, like, you know, Hotline Miami might be a good comparison, because I played the shit out of that, and I love the speed of that game. Maybe I just like, fast games! I don't know what it is, but there's something here. That's going to keep me hooked for quite some time. I'm going to be high score chasing. 
I really want to try and beat my high score on, on the camera just to show you guys it wasn't a fluke, but it totally was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh. I don't even know who the developers of this game are, but good fucking job, guys. I really wish I'd paid full price for this. Like, I got it sale price just to check out, but God. I think full price is only like five bucks anyway, and it's totally... Just give the devs your money, man, because they're great. They made a genius fucking game. Oh. Wee. Go this way. All right. After this one, we'll go to a different map. We'll keep switching up. I really love this map. Fuck. <laughs> that was good. Okay. New map. Next. Oh, fuck. Let's go in that portal. Ooh, this one's awful dusty. It's awful wild westy. Let's go in here, see what's in here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, bad move. I don't know if I like this one. I can't really find a way in. I'm so used to those wide vistas of that last map. No, it's not so special. All oh, this crammed shit. Let's go through here. Oh. Ah, damn it. I knew I was going to have him. Okay. Did I come in here? Is this the bad one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm mm, that was stupid. Don't know why I did that. What's over here? Let's go check this. Can I go through here? Oh yeah, I can. Oh okay. Let's try that again. Let's start with that. Pull up. Ah, God, I think I just hit myself in the exact same spot twice. Come on, baby. Let me through you. Nope. Damn. And for some, yeah, like, there's parts of, where you're like, I need to fly through that. I must fly through this. <laughs> At least there is to me. Cause <laughs> oh, 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 we got to get through that part. Easy. I mean, not easy, but that's an easy challenge. Like, there's no way I'm not. Oh, fuck. There's no way I'm finding that little cranny again. Well, this one's just as good. Okay. I never trust myself in those little crannies, and I really should. Mm. See? Like, Han Solo would have made that. Mm -mm. He wanted to pull down. I tried to keep him up long enough to go over there. Yeah, I'm not loving this one. This one's not wholly interesting. Let's, uh, let's move to another one real fast. Yeah, let's move. There's another portal right there. Wee! Oh, another toxic world? There's sometimes, there's usually like really cool clear worlds uh, in this game. Like really vivid. And for one time, and I swear to God, I've seen this, and they're like, my kid denied it, but it was like, I was flying so long one time that it turned from night to day. And I don't know if there's a day and night cycle in here, but I've definitely seen it. So there is. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> God damn it! I'm getting in there. Let me in. Let me in. Alright, alright. Way There we go. Let's go for this one now. Whoop! Hell yeah, baby. These have a lot of fun little diggy holes in them. What's that one? I have no way I'm making that.
Damn. Damn. Just try that one more time. Square this way. Oh, I don't think that leads anywhere. Sure don't. All right, let's get a different one. I had more luck when I kind of just like flew down the ground. So this is this is really what sampling with Stu is all about. Like this is what I've been waiting for—a game to really get excited about and like blow my wad on. And this one has been worthy of that. Huh. All right, guys. And it's the sort of game, like, I don't, like I said, I don't really capture much footage. Or, like, I'm not super uh, crazy about, like, uh, yeah, doing, like, montages and shit. But I could really see myself just leaving OBS running whilst I'm playing this and just capture all my best, all my best recordings. I think that'd be re a really cool thing to do. Like, this is a game I support wholeheartedly. Um, and I want, I want... I didn't, like, I, uh, it didn't even, like, pop up when I first seen it. It didn't, like, pop up as, like, the new and noteworthy. It's just because I have so many similar games that it was like, oh, you may like this. Like, it's not, I don't think it's very well, it's not, like, super renowned game, but, oh, this is such cool. And I don't think it's getting a whole bunch of praise. Uh, but the review, the user score on there is overwhelmingly positive. So, this is this is resonating with a whole bunch of other people. Like, but this is a, uh, I'm, I'm starting a new segment right now. This is a uh, sampling with Stu favorite, and what that means, I don't know, because I just made it up. But it'll probably mean I'll revisit the game at some other time, and we'll talk some more about it, and we'll see if there's been any substantial updates or sequels or what the developers are up to. But yeah, this is this is my first ever. Sampling with Stu favorite. All right, guys. We'll just do a few more runs and then we'll. Then I'll be on my way, and uh, I hope everybody has a very merry Christmas. We we'll be back after the holidays, and we'll be regularly scheduled. And we'll be back uh, when I say after the holidays, I mean Christmas. We'll be back before New Year with a loaded schedule. Um, our Monday video. Might be off again. Your uh, crafting video may be, may be uh, postponed because that will be New Year's Day. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Brian's out of town right now, but I think he got something for tomorrow. So I'll check out Bridie and then just stay on the channel. And if you like what you're seeing right now, just like and subscribe. Just like and subscribe. Just as we like and, and subscribe to the channel and support us so we can keep supporting awesome devs like these guys. Whoa! Oh, ho, 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 ho. we're going down there. Wee! Oh yeah! Oh yes! We're going through here as well. You know, I've kind of trained my eyes to be looking for daylight all times. I just noticed that. Like I'm kind of always constantly trying to monitor for signs of light. That's probably that's probably a solid way to do this game. See right there? If I go right, it looks like there's daylight, and there is. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Whoa. Nearly. I don't want to lose this map. This map is another saver. Crap. And I know you can just press X to keep restarting, see? But yeah. But yeah, uh, like I said, like and subscribe. And also definitely check out me and Brian. Brian's my co-host. I talk about Brian, but if you only watch Sampling with Stu, you're probably like, who's, who's this imaginary dude he's always talking about? So we have a podcast uh, where we do hobbies and crafts and talk about them. And it's real fun. But he's my co-host and we share this channel and we're best friends. And I mean, I don't know if you'd appreciate me calling him my best friend, but he knows he loves me. So fuck that shit. And he's uh, he's also a very funny and witty character, and makes me laugh a lot. So check him out on uh, and he's doing for his for his shit right now. He's doing a a divinity role playing, taking guys who have never played like role playing games and taking them through a campaign. And there's a few trailers up on his playlist. So head on over there as well. 
yeah, I think I've talked way too much about our YouTube channel, but I want to make you guys aware of the things we do here. Right, let's see. Whoa. See, I've played, I don't even know how long I've played this, but like, I just want to keep going and going and going and going and going. I'm going to save this level as well. Oh, that was just so close. I've never gotten one of those before. I was really close to him, though. Oh, man, I should have went through that. I should have manned up and went the fuck through that. All right, here, we'll do that. Oh, no. This is a great... I like these kind of vaster levels where you can just whip through canyons and shit because that's just super relaxing to me. I really like that. Wee, whoa, whoa. Oh, see, if there was nothing there, if there was no ground there, that would have been badass. I guess I could have say I could say that about any run. If there wasn't a pole there, that would have been badass. I know there's a awesome way through right here. There. Yeah, I knew there was. Like there's gotta be something badass right here. Whoa no. I was trying to get through that hole, but I misjudged. This was the hole I was trying to get through last time. No! Damn it! That's the worst! Oh shit, I need to save this map. We'll, we'll go to one more map and then we'll call it good, guys. How about that? One more map and we'll see what's up. Oh, save this one as well. I really like all these maps I'm finding. I wonder how many maps you can save. Oh, that was badass. Whoa. Oh, all right, motherfucker, let's do this. Oh, I was like, why don't I see daylight? <laughs> oh, no. Crap, that's a hard little canyon to get through. Can you get through right here? I don't think so. Nope. There's no way through that. Okay, well, let's move through. Where's the one I, like, threaded through a second ago? Like, right at the start, was it? Ah, right, let's go a different map. <clears throat> One more map. I know you guys are screaming for an encore right here. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This color. I've seen a few of these maps, but mm -hmm. oh, I guess I'm wrong. I was going to say this one seems a little more open, but it's not. Oh, I thought I was going to make that. I've been doing like butt clenches this whole game. That's probably good for my core, right? Aye! Mm, I don't like this map at all. I can't quite find a way through. And that's another thing I was just about to praise. Like, each map always seems like it has its own organic little path. Like, where you would kind of expect there to be things there are normally. So There's the odd ones like this that don't really have much openings and make much sense but for the most part the maps are really good and randomly uh for random generation they're really fucking good all right we're gonna move to another map this isn't a good map to finish on so what's the difference between portals and just doing this i, don't, I really don't know i don't know if i'm going back to the old maps with this or something's changing but it's like Maybe it's not so obvious. Like, oh, this this reminds me of home. Look at this. It's all like cloudy hills and shit. Yeah. There's my dad over there. <laughs> Damn it. This one has no openings either. Well, I guess it's just the openings are what you make of it, right? Just go through these things. Whoa. Oh, shit. I cannot believe I didn't die there. That was good. That was real good. Let's go in here. Oh, no. There's jack shit. Damn. I'm into this one. I haven't seen I haven't seen a single level that looks like this yet. I'm into this. And that's the thing, like you could save a map and then say like get really good, you and your buddy, and just have like 
badass fly offs passing the control back and forward find the best routes being awesome like it, it's a it could be a really good just like control passing party game you know i really want to get my wife into this game me and my wife sometimes get super into these these like little games and we get super competitive <laughs> over them and one has usually what happens is one has a mass he's like a massively high score and the other one just can't even compete god damn i wanted to save that map um, but one he has usually just a mass, he's a ridiculously high score, <coughs> usually me, and uh, the other one stops playing, <coughs> usually my wife, but um, we, uh, the one game she and I were in the absolute most, and it's non competitive was Animal Crossing, to the point where we used to like, because you know, we'd just met, or how long had it been when we got the DS? Um, anyway, what my wife did was, uh, it was Christmas time and she saved up all her graduation money from high school and bought me a DS, which is still, you mean, the, the best and sweetest thing someone's ever done for me. And uh, we got Animal Crossing together because um, I'd heard it was kind of like a, I don't want to say girly, but kind of like easy going non-challenging kind of game and I'm like oh shit because my wife's not super into video games like I am like I'll play I'll sit here and play video games for for hours and hours and hours and uh she can she we play like Borderlands and shit and she's like oh I'm done after like two quests and I'm like god damn I really want to level up my guy and I never want to leave my wifey behind so I wait I wait patiently um I don't even start another character and go ahead or anything. I want us to experience that shit together. That's how good... I've still not beat Borderlands 2. It's been out for like eight years. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I bought Animal Crossing. And uh, it got to the point where she and I would just sit up all night talking. We'd do some night fishing. We would like just make each other laugh and stay stupid shit until 7 a.m. When Tom Nook's open so we could go out and find the furniture. And then we would go to bed. <laughs> then we would go to sleep. It was like such a stupid thing to do, but um, that was her love for the game. And we, she, no, she is the one who amassed the crazy high score. Like she paid off the majority of the mortgage, and <clears throat> she, she powered the place up. I got bored after like a few months, and she, uh, she, man, I don't think she still like she. If I bought her a DS and gave her that game back, I doubt she would not play it. She'd play it again. She'd pick up right where she left off. I really, there's this game I found called Stardew Valley. And I got it from a PS4, and I really just want to hand her the remote. Because I, mean, I, I played it last Christmas in front of her for, God, I probably poured like 60 hours into Stardew. And uh, she watched me from time to time, but she didn't really, like, get it. And I want to just, I think the way you get that game is, like, game with Animal, like, with Animal Crossing. You just stick that control in their hand. Um, and I never liked, like, the Harvest Moon games. It was weird. Stardew Valley had such a weird effect on me. I'm actually, like, I think it's going to become a, a little bit of Christmas tradition because I played it over Christmas. And uh, it's been a year. It's been a year on the nose since I last played it. And I've been thinking about, like, ideas for farms and things to do and who I want to romance this time. Like, there's a lot of replay in that. Uh, so I'm thinking about picking that up again. Oh, shit. Fuck. Crashed. I'm just going to restart because... Wait, that came a score when I restart? I don't know. It's interesting. I think you think about that. Oh, and the falling seems like it gets faster when you restart. If you didn't die. Hmm. Unless I'm just imagining things. And now, ugh, nah, I don't think it's saving my score, unless I just got a really bad score. My five-year-old daughter, um, we bought a Nintendo Switch, and she has been crazy into Zelda and Mario. So I think she's going to be a little more like me than my wife. And Minecraft, oh my god, her and Minecraft right now, she loves it. She's five, and she's already putting together these... I wouldn't say they're, they're not super complex structures, but they're more complex than I could have made at five. She loves to go on... Like, when she's bored, she's like, I'm going to turn on YouTube for me, father, and turn on these Minecraft people who are really good. So I turn on, like, Minecraft tutorials for her. And, man, she'll watch them. She'll watch them for a while. And then, it's really funny, she'll watch them, and then I'll hear the video end, and she'll be like, Dad? 
it? And I'd be like, yeah. She's like, can I play the Switch now? I just had a great idea. And I think what she does is she tries to go in there and like replicate what she's just seen someone make. It's really cute. Um, I'll have to, I might take pictures of some of the stuff she's made and I'll, uh, I'll upload it on my next video. Whoa, whoa, ah. All right, guys. Well, I think this is a, <clears throat> I think this is a solid place to stop. This game has been super flight. Uh, it's an amazing, tiny little indie game. Real fucking simple, real relaxing, and one I highly, highly recommend. Uh, you picking up ASAP. Like, don't hesitate. This is this is my first ever sampling with Stu's favorite. I think that's what I called it. Favorite game. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. Or have fun guys and yeah um if you like what you see like and subscribe and check us out on itunes or wherever you get your podcasts and check out the other videos on their network all right and once i die once i die which is gonna have whoa oh all right bye guys thanks for watching